back in the city of New Brunswick, I'm having dinner with Chef Bruce Lefebvre at the Frog and the Peach. This Culinary Institute of America trained chef is serving up colonial-inspired dishes at his top-rated restaurant. Well, chef, I can hear the colonial music playing. So much history right here. And now we're gonna try some colonial-inspired fare. George Washington Mount Vernon Hoe Cakes, H-O-E, cakes. The recipe is original through generations passed down through cooks that worked at Mount Vernon. And why were they called hoe cakes? So hoe cakes can be cooked either on a grill or a hoe, a hoe being a gardening tool. So when they were in camp, that's what they would use. They would heat it up over a fire and have a little griddle. How inventive. I love it. And we have this savory stew here yes, as well. So this stew is called pepper pot stew. So it would have been a staple in West Africa, came through the slave trade to the Northeast. And the story goes that George Washington wanted something particularly savory and delicious with the few rations that they had left. Part of the peppers are these peppers here, the Scotch bonnets, which would have been from the Caribbean, and black pepper and clove. It has a nice spice to it, a nice kick. All spice and clove, little nutmeg, some of the traditional kind of British spices are mixed with the Caribbean. We've got Caribbean and we've got British and all of these different elements combining into this meal. And it's very similar to what's in New Brunswick out there today, where we have this diversity of restaurants and the diversity of flavors. And we're seeing it in the past and in the present here exactly, in New Jersey. Exactly, yes. A really nice melting pot.